I like to do a lot of glucose experiments. This is, I don't know, my two or three thousandth one over the past couple of years. And this one shocked me. I thought my glucometer was broken when I did this at first. Here we have resveratrol, Longevinex, activating the CERT1 gene. NAD is absolutely necessary. You'll see these described a little bit more in your uh, glossary. And uh, here we show the marvelous effects of the CERT1 gene. Curcumin upregulates P53. It increases apoptosis. Meanwhile, resveratrol downregulates P53, slows apoptosis. Point being, <laughs> if you want to take this, it might not be such a good idea to take that phase there of the cell cycle. I come in at 42, way below that. On the S phase, I'm five times above that. And here on the G2, on the M phase, I'm already dead. I died sometime at a point when we did this. I'm like have actual, it looks like I have zero cells that are actually uh, dividing. Why on earth would you want to downregulate P53, Paul? That's a cancer protective gene. Well, when it's slower, the theory is that maybe there are less mutations, so P53 is less likely to be needed. But I don't like to take chances. So we decided to throw some cancer markers into our protocol. Bottom line, on every one of these cancer markers, we were in the mid to low range, indicating at least for the time period over the year, we were not endangered by our, what is a very probable downregulation of P53. One reason why I chose to share the markers that I did with you is, I know a lot of you probably have a flow cytometer in your basement, yeah. but for those who don't, you may be able to get a good idea right in your own home laboratory whether this is working or not. So that's something you can use right here, right now.